Well, most people around the world remember a very successful noise-producing performance mm -hmm. called Stomp. Oh. From outside of Korea. And Korea actually okay. upped it a little bit more from there. Yes. Uh, they came up with this show called Cooking when it first opened. Nantai is the Korean title. And uh, it's, uh, it's featuring drum beats and kitchen utensils. Yes, and it actually recently made history for being the most watched Korean production of all time. Our Connie Lee tells us what this means for Korea's performing arts arena. There's a lot of drumming, beating, knife wielding, and acting. This is just a brief behind the scenes look at Korea's very own production of Nanta. The rhythmic show just made history, hitting the 10 million viewer mark at home and abroad at the end of last year. That makes this not only the longest running show in Korea, now in its 18th year, but also the most watched Korean production of all time. For a local theatrical production to hit 10 million viewers, it's unheard of, but Nanta did it. This gives hope to other locally made productions that they too could succeed. To mark this milestone, PMC Production, the firm behind the show, celebrated this week and honored the original cast members, pictured on the trademark Nanta poster. You might recognize some of them, like actor Liu Seung Leung, who's had a recent string of hit movies. The nonverbal show about a group of chefs cooking for a wedding banquet came to life in 1997 by longtime actor turned producer and director Song Sung Hwan. I was inspired by childhood memories of hearing my mother cook in the kitchen. I wanted to create a show that incorporated the traditional Korean rhythms of samulori and thought the kitchen had a number of items that could create those beats. After two years, the show, also known as Cookin' in the West, hit the global stage, becoming the first Korean production to enter the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in 1999, and then in 2003, becoming Korea's debut on Broadway. Since then, Nanta has toured the globe and has been shown more than 31,000 times in 289 cities and 51 different countries. Critics rave about the show's comedic features, its family-friendly nature, and the fun Korean beats that can get any crowd going. When I first created the show, I didn't think it would last this long. Today, I see even greater opportunities for Korean-made productions to succeed even more abroad. Officials now have their eyes set squarely on China, as Ananta Theater is set to be built in Guangzhou by this June. Connie Lee, Arirang News.